Dragon Ballers, if you're looking to buy a Dragon Ball Super or One Piece sealed product, make sure to get 5% off using my link to Mystic TCG down in the description. You can also sell cards to them using their Facebook link, which is also down in the description. Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. What I wanted to do in today's video was go over the tournaments that took place over the weekend for both One Piece and Dragon Ball, but not all that information has made itself available yet. So hopefully that comes out within the next couple hours or tonight or hopefully just tomorrow morning so I can get you guys some videos on that early this week. But in the meantime, we are going over the Yellow Goku Spirit Bomb Archetype for Set 20 Power Absorbed. And overall, Set 20 is looking a lot better than Set 19 in terms of strength in terms of fun archetypes so i'm pretty excited about it i wish it was coming out for the dragon ball battle hour in time for that uh, lcq tournament but it's not but anyways still worth taking a look at and going over the archetype here and that's what we're doing in today's video if you guys are new make sure to subscribe and let's just jump right on in all right we're taking a look at the ss vegeto leader which has got a lot of people talking about it it's very very interesting also it's just weird that we started vegeto and go into goku and vegeta but uh there's a lot of other weird things about this leader so it's a 20k leader when this card attacks, draw one auto. If you have two or more energy at the start of any main phase, draw two cards. Add cards in life tan until you have six life left. And flip this card over. So the big deal about this unawakened leader is that you are a 20k leader. But notice that second auto. If you have two or more energy at the start of any main phase, you're pretty much forced to awaken. So you're not even really swinging with this card unless you go second. It's on your first turn. Of course, there's the meme. Haha, you could not charge two energy and then just stay 20k forever. But you're not winning any games staying at one energy. It's just not possible. So with that in mind, you're pretty much just deflecting a lot of low cost aggro for the first turn or two. And that's a cool thing. I don't think this is going to be like obscenely broken just because it's a 20k on the unawakened side. Again, because you're pretty much forced to flip over once you get to that two energy. And I think this is actually a pretty cool design choice. If it ends up being broken, I'll eat my words, but I think this is a pretty cool thing. Then we have the Goku and Vegeta side, Path to Victory, when this card attacks, draw one, auto once per turn when a card is placed under a Spirit Bomb in your battle area, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch to rest mode and activate main, you can activate a Spirit Bomb from your deck, then shuffle and negate the skill for the game, pretty simple backside. Then the Spirit Bomb field card, we have activate main, if your leader's a Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow, and you switch this card to rest mode, look at the top three cards of your deck, place up to one yellow battle card among, among them under this card, and place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Activate battle if it's your turn. Your Goku leader is in battle, and there are seven or more cards under this card. Use all the battle cards from under this card in a combo with their skills negated for the turn and place this card in the owner's draw. That's a big combo. Obviously, it looks like it's helping us go for some game-ending power. And that's kind of becoming the thing with yellow, just huge combo power on final attacks between like the Piccolo Gohan SCR, Mirror Crater Absorbed, Oolong, and now this thing. Yellow is just smacking for some really big damage in the in the later parts of the game, which is kind of funny. And this whole leader theme just seems to be on par with that. Then we have two Z leaders. I think the first time we've seen two Z leaders, especially for the same archetype. But anyways, we have Z Awaken, Goku, Spirit Bomb, Hope for two Z energy costs and a regular yellow energy. When you at four or less, it goes over a yellow Goku, and then Z stack one. Yellow Goku with a Z energy cost of four, so the Goku to the right goes under this, it seems like, when this is placed on top of your leader. Activate main once per turn. Place one card from your hand under a Spirit Bomb in your battle area, then draw two. Activate main if there are seven or more cards under a Spirit Bomb in your battle area. Remove this card from the game. Place one Goku Z leader from under your leader on top of your leader. And if you place a card, you may switch as leader, or your leader to active mode. So this is like a whole jumbled mess of text. I think, honestly, that it's printed wrong, but I could be wrong. So this says, play, once you remove this from the game, which is the first piece of text in the effect, place a Goku Z leader from under your leader on top of your leader. I don't think that your, S, your Super Saiyan Goku leader goes under your leader at any point. I think it just goes under this Z leader. So that's why I think it's like a, a mistake, a mess of text. But... Basically, I think what it is is just you're, you're losing this Z leader, the regular Goku Z leader, and you're going to be able to go into the uh, Super Saiyan Goku Z leader from this activate main. I think that's what it means, but if there's somehow that your Super Saiyan Goku leader goes under your regular leader, let me know down in the comments because I'm just not seeing it. That's why I think it was like a mistake of text. But anyways, let's read the Majin Showdown Z leader. So just ignore the Z Awaken. You're probably never, ever, ever going to Z Awaken for four energy. Permanent, while there are seven or more cards in your combo area and this card is in a battle, negate the skills of all cards in your opponent's combo area so 
negating their super combos that's pretty crazy any other wild effects they might have while comboing that's pretty cool auto and card attacks draw one activate battle if there are seven more cards in your combo area and this card's in the battle for the battle this card gains double strike and at the end of the game or at the end of the battle remove this card from the game so kind of like that final super saiyan uh spirit bomb that he throws at majin buu very thematic very cool and so far this doesn't seem like too far outside the realm of possibility to actually pull off i mean we've only seen two effects that put cards on your spirit bomb there are more that we'll read in a minute but yeah if you're able to stack that up you're gonna have to play pretty heavy into the archetype but if you can do it you get some really powerful game ending uh strength and obviously you back this up by a swift retaliation cooler that seems pretty wild all right, then we have some battle cards for the deck. We have Vegeta buying time, simple one drop cantrip, but also while your leader is a Goku card, there are six or fewer cards under a spirit bond. This card gains 11K power, so he is hitting for 15. Super Saiyan Vegeta, Indomitable Spirit. I really, like, really, really like the design of this card. Four drop 15K, unique blocker, auto limit one. If your leader is a yellow Z leader, when this card's placing your drop by an opponent's skill, play this card from your drop with its non keyword skills negated for the game so it's almost like an, another form of protection it's not barrier it's not deflect but if it dies once it comes back and that's a pretty cool alternative form of uh quote-unquote protection activating for a yellow if your leader is a goku or vegeta card both yellow you have two or more energy play this card from your hand also note too just funny enough that any of these yellow vegeta cards are also playable in yellow kaba vegeta that's just another cool thing to note here and then we have Kabito Kai and Patara on display. One drop 4K, when this card's played, look at top five. Add a Saiyan or Earthling, both with energy cost of four or less. I'm on this to your hand and shuffle your deck. Activate main limit one. If there's a Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow. You have two or more energy and you send this card to the owner's warp. Play up to one yellow battle card with energy cost of one from your deck with its skills negated for the turn and then shuffle your deck. And that's going to be pretty important for stacking cards under our spirit bomb. But it's also super interesting that Kabito Kai plays any yellow one drops. Like, for example, you could play uh, Chi Chi Marshall Melee, which is the Dimension Magic Silver Bullet in yellow. Like, that's super interesting because it only negates the skills during your turn. Once it goes back to your opponent's turn, that card has barrier again. And then for the rest of the game, it's going to be a nuisance for your blue opponent. So that's really, really interesting. But anyway, some one drops for the strategy. Dende laying the foundation. One drop 4K unique barrier. Activate main once per turn. If your leader is a yellow Goku Z leader and you send one yellow battle card from your drop to your warp, play one earthling token with 1000 power, zero combo and zero combo power. And it gains barrier to the end of your opponent's next turn. And then we have Hercule expecting the unexpected kind of a combo here. Permanent this card can't be KO'd while in rest mode. Permanent, if your leader is yellow and has both Goku and Vegeta and you have a yellow Dende in play, reduce energy cost of this card in your hand, buy a yellow, so it becomes free, I'm pretty sure. Activate main switch card to rest mode. You may choose any number of your opponents, uh, of your battle cards and switch them to rest mode. If you do, for each battle card switch to rest mode by the skill other than this card, you may place top card of your deck under a spirit bomb in your battle area. So basically by comboing Dende and Hercule, you know, Dende spamming out tokens and Hercule tapping them, you get to put way more cards under your spirit bomb. Now, this is kind of cool, but also I don't love it because it takes up a ton of deck space just for some very weak one drop battle cards and it's just pulling off that spirit bomb combo. So hopefully the deck is not overly reliant on this combo. It might be though, that might be a downside, but let's read Hercule Rallying Hope. We have a one drop, one Z energy cost battle card barrier. Activate main, switch card to rest mode. You may choose any number of your battle cards and switch them to rest mode. And if you do, for each battle card switched this uh, by the skill, you may place top card of your deck under a spirit bomb in your battle area. So again, you're foregoing some of your aggression to be able to stack more cards under your uh, spirit bomb. Hopefully that doesn't take us like multiple, multiple turns to do that. Uh, and I would hate that to, to play all these little one drops in the deck, but uh, I don't know. It's going to take more building for sure. But generally, this is how we're looking at putting all those cards under our Spirit Bomb as of right now. All right, now we have some power for the deck. So we have Vegito Unexpected Separation. We have a two drop 15K, activate main. If your leader is a Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow, and you send this card to the owner's warp. Play a Goku and Vegeta ultimate duo from your deck with its keyword skills negated for the turn, and then shuffle your deck. Now, what's interesting is this is a two drop. That has a free activate main. So basically for two energy, you're getting a 15k swing and then you're cracking into ultimate duo, which reads double strike, but that gets negated if you play it off of unexpected separation. Auto, this card's played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, negated skills for the turn and KO it. Incredible effect. We finally have a way for yellow to get around indestructible, which is great against Zamasu Didi's Wrath as an example. And then activate main limit one for a yellow. If your leader is a Goku or Vegeta card, both yellow and your opponent has two or more energy, 
play this card from your hand so this card is not necessarily super generic in terms of playing in any yellow deck but um there are going to be other yellow goku and vegeta leaders out there which is kind of interesting but yeah this card is really strong for its removal aspect then we have ss3 goku universe at stake a drop 30k to flex those card tax you can choose one either choose one of your opponent's battle cards during barrier and switch to rest mode or choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and ko it Activate mainly for two yellow if your leader is a yellow Z leader or you have a yellow Z battle card in play and your opponent has three or more energy. Play this card from your hand and if a yellow extra card is in your battle area, draw one. Activate main limit one if all your uh, cards in your battle area are in rest mode. Switch this card to active mode. Now notice that auto is not once per turn. I wish so badly that I KO'd a battle card in rest mode ignoring barrier because you would have been able to answer any card in the game with barrier on the first auto tap it on the second auto ko it but still i mean really good you're getting two autos there one tapping maybe you punch into a threat that's bothering you or you just you know get two removals on two rest mode things really strong cards i mean i have no complaints about any of these cards uh yeah really good and then some defense we have majin buu desperate defiance four drop 10k counterplay limit one play this card permanent if you have a yellow hercule card in play you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost and then auto if your leader is a yellow sun goku card and this card's played choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of four or less and switch it to rest mode not bad at all this is kind of like the borgos we got with the yellow bardox crew archetype obviously it only taps a four or less instead of a uh i think it's a seven or less in the borgos but still a solid card i mean we have the hercule that has barrier from the z deck so that's pretty safe for this card to be free but if you don't have hercule in play if your opponent has a decent amount of barrier removal which is now a lot more common in dragon ball super this Majin Buu might just be a dead card in hand. So, yeah, I, I could see a lot of this not playing it just because it's a little bit, um, I don't know, unsafe maybe, but still a pretty cool option to have. And then SS Vegito Overwhelming Might. This card is super interesting. 8 drop 15k, blocker counterplay, play this card. Permanent. During your opponent's turn, while your leader is yellow, your opponent has two or more energy, and you have two or more Z energy. Reduce energy cost of this card in your hand by seven, so it does end up costing one. When this card's played from your hand, your opponent can't attack with non-leaders unless they choose one of your active mode cards and switch to rest mode each time, very similar to a post. At the end of the turn, send this card to the owner's warp. Additionally, if your leader is a Z leader or you have a yellow Z battle card in play, your leader gains the following skill for the turn. Permanent, negate all of your opponent's strike skills for the turn. So there's some discussion around that effect also being misworded because uh, technically your opponent doesn't have the strike skills your opponent's battle cards have the strike skills so that's something that might need to be errated or just updated in the faq but regardless we, we know how it's intended to work when you counterplay this thing for the turn your opponent doesn't have strike your opponent does not have double strike your opponent's cards don't have triple strike and that's really strong um you're gonna be saving a lot of damage in that regard although you're still probably gonna have to combo when your opponent attacks if they do have a fully stacked board but at least you can afford to take like a single strike that might have been a triple strike right that does seem like a pretty big deal and now having another type of repost card is obviously going to make yellow even more defensive than it already is this is tied to counterplay though not counter attack so it's used in a slightly different way but it's going to be a lot easier now to like quote unquote double repost your opponent because you'll you know negate their initial attack with an actual repost and then when they commit more cards to the board you'll counterplay and now they're double taxed on all their attacks which is kind of insane and uh yeah this card seems like a yellow staple going forward will every yellow deck play it i'm not 100 sure but i think most defensive yellow decks will 100 slot this into the main board and when i say like super defensive yellow decks i'm thinking like you know trunks vegeta but less so like kid goku reboot which in my opinion is a more aggressive yellow deck but regardless i mean all these cards seem pretty pretty good i think the only issue is going to be how hard it is to stack seven cards under your spirit bomb and if that's attainable by like turn four i think it's like pretty strong because backing that up by swift taliation cooler like i said uh, assuming that card doesn't get banned we'll see but yeah that seems like a really strong combo but anyways guys i want to in the comments below what you think about this archetype thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one